You see, this is what happens when LB doesn't get to play Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2, the campaign, because I didn't pre-order it. I'm over here playing a bunch of indie games, and I'm having a good time. I'm convinced that the publisher, Devolver Digital, is the future of single-player games. I'm completely convinced. I've enjoyed indie games all my life. Cave Story, Cuphead, Undertale, Hotline Miami, Papers, Please. Hotline Miami 2, which is a hard game. I haven't, I haven't even beat Hotline Miami 2. I beat Hotline Miami 1 like 30 times. But Hotline Miami 2 is just way too hard. I'm not going to lie. But it's a great game. 80s. I can keep going and going, right? I've played a lot of indie games. And I take pride in the fact that I like indie games. But I watched Devolver Digital's press conference a few minutes ago. It came out four months ago from the time of this upload. And... It was insane. It was insane. If you know the YouTuber Scott the Waz, it felt like Scott the Waz literally was the person that directed the entire thing. And that's amazing. The, the presentation was so self-aware and they showcased nothing but pure fire single player games. It was so good and the games were so unique as they would be because they're indie games and they're being published by Devolver. They were so good that I was thinking to myself, what if they ever made in the future, because it's inevitable, what if they ever published a first-person shooter, right? Something along the lines of Call of Duty. Just something close to that or something close to traditional, old-school Call of Duty first-person multiplayer. It'd be insane. There's a lot of games out there, other indie games that are similar like that, like that to old-school Call of Duty, but they're mainly on PC. On console, we don't really have anything like that. We just don't. We don't. There's no denying it. We don't. I think it's up to Devolver Digital to publish something like that in the future. Honestly. I stepped outside to bring my garbage can up back to the house because it's today's trash day. But the trash didn't come yet. The garbage person didn't come yet. So I stepped all the way outside. But it's fine. I got some fresh air. I felt good. And again, I made a video about this in the past. My neighbor's garden. So I got to see their nice garden outside as well. So, hey, it's a win-win. Back to Devolver Digital. I've been playing this game, <laughs> this, this other game by Devolver, because it's now on Game Pass. Thank you, Game Pass. Thank you for offering me so many games that I would have never experienced. And so many other gamers' games they would have never experienced. Thanks, Game Pass. been playing this game, and I recommend it to anybody that is a fan of speedrunning. Anybody that's a fan of platforming. Especially 3D First person platforming. This game is so fun. Leave it to indie games, man. All right, the trash man finally came. So let me go ahead and pause my Destiny 2 Crucible grind and get the trash. Wait, LB, you play Destiny 2? Yeah, I play Destiny 2. But I only play the Crucible. I only play Crucible. I didn't used to play Destiny 2 in the past. Like when I played the Crucible in the past, I would just get so annoyed. Because I got tired of always dying to supers. I got tired of always dying to grenades. I got tired of always dying to melee abilities. But one of my friends helped me understand that Destiny 2 Crucible is an ability game. This, yeah, aiming and stuff is important. But abilities are a big part of the game. And I, I wasn't really, like, comprehending that. Because I come from a competitive gaming games, like Siege and stuff like that. But once I understood that, I was able to change how I view and how I perceive Destiny 2. And I only play Control. I don't play any other other game modes because that, that would annoy me too much. But I only play Control because it, it feels like, I want to say it feels like chess, but the fact that there's three objectives, Control, because you capture the flag, you have A, B, and C, it feels like there's Control. Like even if I'm, <laughs> pun, no pun intended, but even though there's there's three objectives, it's not like Call of Duty Domination. I don't like domination in Call of Duty because you have to stand on this little bitty circle and capture the flag. You get you die in like two shots in Call of Duty. But in Destiny 2, you have movement, okay? You have a lot of health. The time to kill is really high, so you're able to make plays and capture the, the and capture the objectives in ways so that you can actually win the game. You get rewarded for playing this game. When you finish Crucible games, you get tons of loot. You get tons of weapons, tons of gear and armor. I like that. Anyway, let me grab this trash. All right. Trash taken care of. Trash is back up here now. Thanks, Trash Man. Now, I'm going to say this. Whenever you get your trash from the curb or whatever, when you come back into the house, wash your hands. Wash your hands. People just grab their trash but don't wash their hands. That's nasty. Wash your hands, okay? Before you touch anything else in your house, wash your hands. No matter what I do, uh, no matter when I'm writing in my notebook, no matter when I'm exercising, no matter when I'm cleaning up, 
All I can think about is Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2 and the fact that I didn't pre-order it. Ah, but it's only, listen, it's only eight more days, LB. It's just eight more days. Eight more days. And I'll be able to play Search and Destroy. And I'll be able to play Strikeout. I'll be able to play the new game mode, Hostage Rescue. And then Warzone 2.0 comes out next month on the 17th, I think. November 17th. And with that also comes DMZ. Oh, DMZ, what's that? If Okay, if you don't know what that is, I'm about to explain it right now. You ever heard of Escape from Tarkov on PC? It's literally that. If you don't know what that is, imagine this. Imagine Warzone, right? Except you have like AI. You have like computer like controlled people around the map. And your objective isn't to be the last person surviving and win or the last squad and win. Your objective is to go into the map, get looped, get ammo, get attachments, and then exfil out. Extract out the map. And everything that you obtain while you're in that map, you keep with you and take into the next game. That's fire. That is fire, dude. That's so fire. And then when you go into the game, you can figure out and decide what you want to bring with you. Oh, my gosh. See, I shouldn't have, I should have talked about it. Now I want to get the game, but I got to calm myself down. These next eight days are going to be such a mental test for me. Such a mental test for me. Thankfully, LB consumes visual novels, so that's going to help me. I write in my notebook all the time. I actually have a few notebooks I write in, and you should as well. Document everything that happens in your life as much as you can. Write notes throughout your life. I write notes about everything that happens throughout your day. Come up with different ideas and things that you want to try in the future. And when I say the future, I don't mean like 10, 20 years from now. I'm talking about like later on today, later on tomorrow, what you want to do for the weekend, all kind of stuff. Because if you don't constantly choose to think about what it is that you want to accomplish, you're going to just coast. You're not going to make as much progress in your life as you could if you actually spend time to plot this stuff down and plan these things out. I have had a lot of dreams and have accomplished every single one of my dreams. Now, if anybody else said that, it would sound like a bold-faced lie, but I'm LB. I work hard to accomplish the things that I want to accomplish. Don't ever allow anybody else to tell you, oh, you can't do that. What? Yeah, right. No. If you make a dream, do what you need to do to accomplish it. No matter how long it takes, no matter how hard you have to work for it, make it happen. But in order to accomplish those dreams, you have to first have dreams. And then when you have a dream, you have to work for it. You have to do what you need to do to make it happen. Because every single time you accomplish one of your dreams, you get used to it. And you recognize, oh, wow, I had a dream that others said I couldn't accomplish but then you accomplish it. So that also tells you something else as well. That tells you that, hey, what other people say isn't actually that relevant because they said that you couldn't do it, but you still did it. So that means what they have to say isn't always the truth. They're not you. You're you. There's only one you and it's you, not them. Don't ever let other people try to stop you from your dreams. Don't let other people dictate the dreams that you create. Okay? Well, the time is 4.35. Well, what you have for lunch, LB? Some cereal. Some cereal. That is my arguably favorite food of all time. Cereal? Cereal is your favorite food? Yes. Yes, it is. I feel zero shame in the fact that I like to eat cereal sometimes for lunch and dinner. <laughs> and you shouldn't either. If you enjoy something, especially if it's not the un most unhealthy thing in the world, partake in it. Don't let anybody stop you from eating what you enjoy, especially if it isn't that bad, like Cheerios.